All right, you guys asked the question, I got the answers. So let's talk about bugs, baby. This video is gonna be all about Maine's black fly season, what you need to know, how you can avoid it, and how you can treat it if you should happen to get bitten by one of those teeny tiny little flies. Before we jump in, my name is Amanda Collins and I am your go-to person for all things real estate in Southern Maine. If you have any questions, I've got my contact info below, reach out, I'm happy to help. All right, so I have lived here for over 30 years and this is kind of a funny question to me because I'm just so used to it, so I don't even think of it. And then when I had clients contacting me who wanna move here from out of state, that's like one of their big questions. And so I wanted to do some research on it and make a video for you guys. All right, so there are over 50 species of these black flies that live here in Maine, but the good news is only a handful of them are biters. Ooh, I feel like this could turn into a fetish video real quick. No. Now for some other news that I did not know, all of the biters are female. So I guess my sisters and I will take a hit on this one. Okay, so what is their season? Like, when do they come out? Which originally, they used to come out mid-May and then only hang around until July. But that's evolved. So now they come out mid-May and they hang around all summer long. And there are some areas, especially along the Penobscot River, where there's a certain species that just keeps breeding. But on the flip side, that's also really good news because they need clean running water to breed. And that means that we have got plenty of sources of that. So I guess it's kind of a dual side thing. Now let's talk about how are they attracted to us? And the first way, there's four different ways that I found. So the first way is they like warm bodies. So I guess if you are a human being walking around on this earth, then you're a warm body. Second, they are fashion snobs apparently. So they are only attracted or are primarily attracted to dark colored clothing. So wear something nice and light like this and decrease your odds of being bit by one of them. Okay, reason number three, your breath. They are attracted to the carbon dioxide that we output. So Obviously, we all can't stop doing that. It's a normal, natural thing that we have to do to survive. So that's why a lot of times they will kind of swarm around your head or your upper body, and it's just really annoying. It's a really annoying thing to experience. But if you wear a hat or you could wear like a netted headgear or even sunglasses help with that. Reason number four that they are attracted to you, well, you could just be something special. <laughs> I think it just might depend on your body chemistry, maybe like your own natural scent or your type of blood. I think that that is what that's referring to, but it's also kind of just a, just a funny thing to hear people's different perspectives on it. All right, so what's our defense against these pesty little bugs? Well, first off, and I highly recommend getting some good bug spray. I make sure I have bug spray in my car. I take it with me everywhere just in case if I happen to be outside for a longer period of time or it just, it could even depend on the weather, but make sure you have bug spray. I have tried both like the regular bug spray as well as the natural bug spray. I don't think the natural bug spray works as well, but who knows, maybe for some people it will. So I usually just get like, the family style bug spray, it doesn't have any DEET in it because I know some people are a little bit funny about that. So definitely arm yourself with bug spray. Second, take into consideration the weather. They tend to like overcast days. Um, obviously they're not gonna do well in the breeze because the breeze will just blow them away. And apparently they don't like a lot of bright sunshine either. So good things to know about that. And last method of defense, cover up. That means wearing long sleeve shirt, pants, like I said, netted gear, hat, sunglasses. I know it's sometimes difficult to wear these types of things in the summer just because it's so hot and humid here. But again, depending on what you're doing, you might have to wear those. All right, so what are the symptoms and what's the treatment for them? So symptoms generally are mild, yet annoying. 
they are usually you get like a little red bump it's itchy try not to itch it it's the worst thing you can do it just makes it itch even more uh, sometimes people can have kind of more of an allergic reaction to it but generally it's not too bad so the best ways to treat it are to wash it with some warm water and some soap first off and then to either apply some sort of like calamine lotion or like an anti-itch stick those work awesome. Usually you only have to use it for a day, maybe two, just depending on the severity of your bite. Okay, so again, to recap, we have over 50 species of these black flies, but only a few of them will actually bite you. The biters are female. They are attracted to you by your temperature, your breath, the colors that you wear, and like I said, you could just be something special, you've got what they want. So your defense against them is to use bug spray. Wear long sleeve clothing, long sleeve shirts, pants, or netted gear. Also, another good trick is if you have a campfire going because they don't like the smoke. So that is also very helpful as well. All right, your treatment is wash it with warm water and soap, get some sort of anti-itch medication, and maybe in like a worst case scenario, you might need some Benadryl, but always consult your doctor if you think it's way worse than it should be. And as I said before, you know, it's not always a bad thing that we have these because it means that we have really clean water. All right, so I hope this video gave you some valuable information on what the black fly situation is like here in Maine and how you can successfully navigate yourself through it. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.